Welcome to Necker Sunday as we start the wave four of Alien 40th Anniversary NECA figures. And there are three in this series again, and today we start with da -da, Joan Lambert, the dinner lady. <laughs> right, so let's add a ganders. As always, we look at these parts first. Warning. Alien Lambert, NECA. We go to the side. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that is a weird face. Dead space suit. Alien 40th anniversary. Barcode number. That's a bit, bit smaller. 20th Century Studios. <laughs> this must be after the Disney complete buyout. Nega. Real toys. Not the reset onions. That one, and the side. And is the back going to be different for the final series? Let's have a look. No, no it's not. Right. Necker, Alien, Lambert. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> it looks quite crap from a distance, but close up it looks really, really good. And watch the first video of the 40th anniversary to, for me to read all that. And that lot. What's really cool about this, they managed to get all seven likeliness for characters that are in the Alien film. Including the Alien itself. Uh, and that's Lambert. So let's have a look at the front, top down. And here we go. Right. So always have a start from a distance. So let's have a look at the face. Now <laughs> that has got to be the face on the original figure. Yep. Dinner Lady Lambert. Uh, serve you some glob and some goo. Her helmet. And let's have a look. Yeah, not bad. Um, they've definitely captured Lambert. He's a, uh, looking a bit more youthful. But really, really, really good sculpt. And... The dead space suit. Lambert, Waylon Dutaney, but in blue this time. And uh, shoulder pads are not really painted. Dials. Mm -hmm. Hand. And hand. Yes, the buttons aren't painted. Where's the shoulder pad? Maybe they do all have that extra bit. It's like their lightsaber to get ready. And uh, okay, so she has. <sighs> Annoying. So everyone must have. Everyone must have that. Then this this harpoon gun thing. She has that boxy thingy, which I assure you, if it wasn't for that seal, I would open. But yeah, she's a pretty cool figure. I do like where they've made it like her pockets are full in this figure. So, how does she compare to the earlier figure? Here we go. Da -da. Right. So, what do we have here then? We have the same dinner lady head. Uh, that's a bit darker, the painting on that one. That's a bit lighter. Her hair there is shite. Her face sculpt. She looks older. Definitely looks older in that one. Not as good. That one's just really, just really youthful. Um... Down there, yep, she's got the gun and she's got the other bit that she has got in this one. So it's pretty much a spot on remake. Almost. So let's have a look at the key differences. Right, so elbow joints are good. That has a lot more rust on it. That has a lot more, well, it's like corrosion, not rust, corrosion. The hair there. Like she stood under some sort of snow tree, whereas if there, it's really good. And that scalp is a solid nine. That scalp as well is really, really good. I don't think they have actually. <laughs> Sorry, bloody lights. I don't think they have actually changed much uh, from the original scalp. Maybe a face in the left hand side one is a bit thinner. But on the chest, she has blue and red. And she's actually painted above the chest plate, unlike the other one. And here we have no blue. It's just corrosion and the words Lambert. 
which of course is her name. Uh, the shoulder pads aren't really painted, they're just more corrosion similar and the dials on the arm just a lot more corrosive but less paintwork work but if you don't include the corrosion that is yeah both really good and um, the light in this helmet the actual way the light looks is a lot lot better than that, that just like a really shitty paint job but of course it's down to the individual that painted the figure when they made it yeah so impressions over and all pretty pretty cool figure I would definitely go for the new one that's my personal preference the old one's actually good as well it's quite different the paintwork is very different it's a lot lighter it's a lot lighter all over especially in the arms and they forgot their fate they forgot to paint the chest part there but all in all both figures are worth having you can get them cheap enough 20 pounds when it initially released back then and 30 pounds when it originally released so there we go guys lambert from alien